Yes, Kwabna, you are okay, lying. ladies and gentlemen. Where we are is known as Green River. Um, the people over here are part of the Akan. They are known as a Futu. A Futu. A Futu people are the one of the original or the autochthons of this land. They are part of the Akan ethnic group. One thing that has changed really bad is education. Remember I told you education is light. There is one premier university here called uh, University Education University or uh, uh, um, Winnibar University or University of Education, Winnibar. Either Winnibar of uh, Winnibar University or University of Winnibar. Now, it's just ahead of us, a little bit ahead of us. This was built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah from the beginning, but somewhere along the line when he was overthrown, it was abandoned. It was abandoned until 1993 that it was rebuilt or refurbished. Why this university? They built this university so that teachers will also be able to graduate through the academic ladder where teachers can come here and then be taught. Two, it is also built as, as a result of sports in Ghana. We were not having any sports college. So formerly it was known as Sports College, Winnibar Sports College. Winnibar Sports College. So that is on your right, right now, University Education of Winnibar or University of Winnibar. So apart from education, the like teaching teachers, if you want to be a Marcel, someone who massages, this is where you can attain your higher uh, um, education. Apart from Marcel, if you want to become a coach in all the sports field, this is where you will have your degree. Apart from this place, the whole country, there is nowhere else. Every university has its own unique um, come again yes every university in Ghana we I uh, uh, I told you it was administration now there are a lot of departments that has been added but many administration when you go to Kumasi that was built in 1961 is basically science and technology if you go to uh, Cape Coast also you have tourism and education if you come to this place education and sports if you go to the north UTS University of Development Studies in the northern part of Ghana it's basically agri and then we have private universities also in Ghana why you need to know about the people of our year is their festival it's known as a watchery. It's a hunt, hunting festival or the deer hunting festival that comes on in every ending of May. There are two groups over here and the two, two groups have been divided into four each. And there is a, a forest on our far right, uh, far left hand side. They go there to hunt for deer and you go through some traditions and other things. The first group that is able to catch the deer and present the deer to the chief is the winner for the whole year. And it's a big, big, big festival. A poetry festival. Or the deer hunting festival. Every community in Ghana, every time in Ghana, uh, throughout the year, they celebrate some form of festival. 
these festivals are things that has happened to them or they went through famine and they are out of whatsoever. So that was really bad. And all that you can see in Riva is education. 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 Thank you so much. We are just closer to the river runabout. Uh, when you take right, you go to Accra. When you take left, you go to Cape Coast and Elmina. We are taking to the left. A little further, one of our brothers is going to get down. He's going to take a car to uh, Ashaimun. Thank you. 